Dearly beloved, we are gathered here on the holiest of weekdays, on sitting upon the floor, to celebrate the one true Lord of all. For his name is, oh, the green screen, right? Hold on. Let me do this real quick. I forgot I turned off the green screen because it's not going to be on today. There we go. The one true Lord of all, Togorilla. For he will bless us as we make this table together. It shall be wonderful even though the parts don't match. I have my, my, my cordless drill. I've got my measuring tape, my marking pen, my just for her, just for her toolbox, complete with pink tools. I am ready. Yes, yes, this is, it's, it's very misogynistic, it's, it's borderline offensive, but that's uh, what we have in the house. But before we do that, we shall read from the holy book of the Tacopedia, from the chapter entitled, Glossary of Ingredients and Other Curiosities. Achiote, a natural coloring and condiment, also known as anato. Almojo, fish prepared with garlic and butter. B, bistec, in tacos, any piece of meat cut into thin slices from the English beefsteak. C, Campechano, slang word for something improvised, used for certain kinds of tacos. And we will continue from there if I remember next week. It is written, it shall be done. Cheese be with you. Cheese be with you all. And salsa with you. Let us pray. Oh, great God, Takorilla, whose eyes are always open. Please open my eyes to making this a workable goddamn desk so I can maybe work and provide for my family of three dogs, one human female, ten or a dozen spiders, and two snakes. In your name we pray. The service is ended. Go in peace. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot with it. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okie dokie. All right, what's up, everybody? Let me just, oh, let me take this. Let me take this off and... Oh, God, it's hot. Holy shit. Also, uh, so I'm going to be building it on my, on my floor here in my office. Um, the thing is, Sitley, I don't know if Sitley's here today, but Sitley convinced me to buy a big uh, power uh, battery, battery backup. That's what it is. I bought a battery backup. So in case like the power goes out again, uh, the stream won't go down and the internet will still be up, which is great, right? However, yes, yeah, so a UPS, a big fat, here, I'll show you. I can just drag it out here for you. Huh? Uh, there it is. Oh, let me. There we go. One of these big bad boys. Uh. It's heavy, obviously, if you've ever 
mess with the battery backup. You know how fucking heavy it is. Thing is, <clears throat> I plug my, um, all of my setup and my refrigerator, like all my PCs, monitors, my refrigerator, into the thing. All of that. 50% capacity or whatever. I plug that old ass air conditioner. It jumps to like 140. It is crazy. I've unplugged uh, the air conditioner. Oh, I've turned off the air conditioner. The air conditioner is not sucking any juice, but. I bought that so I could plug all the shit in. Apparently, it's still too much. I, I, apparently, I didn't know what the fuck a battery backup was. I thought you could plug shit in there. At least a, a bit more. But no, it was like I plugged it in and it went. Terrible. So what I'm going to have to do is just take all of all of the anything that's not streaming involved. So I'm just going to plug in my monitors, my PCs, and uh, my modem and router. That's all that's going in there. And then the air conditioner will have its own outlet. The refrigerator will have its own outlet. And hopefully that solves the problem. So that's, I didn't know that. I don't know what made me think like, oh, if you, this, this really expensive fucking heavy, heavy piece of equipment, you, you could just plug everything into it. I think that's why I thought I could do that. Because it's really, it was expensive and it's really like heavy duty. So I was like, oh, I can handle everything. That's why. Uh, why do I have my shirt tucked in? Butt crack. Thinking, I'm thinking. I'm wearing jeans and a belt. And I've tucked in my shirt. So no butt crack. Let's, let's, let's hope. Let's hope. I don't do that on purpose. I'll just let you guys know that. That butt crack shit is just because I forget that you can only see me from here up, usually. So, yeah. Anyway, you can see behind me. That's the, that's the desktop. That's the corner piece. And what I wanted, they had. I'm so happy that they had it, but it's like a, it, it's for a desk that goes into the corner. It's not, mine isn't going to go in the corner. It's just going to go against the wall. So like, like if this is the wall, it's going to come out like a V shape from there. The corner of the table is going to be against the wall. Um, so I can put stuff behind it. So it's going to be like a V shape still, but it's deep enough that I can push my monitors all the way back and still have room for a keyboard and mouse and all that. It's great. Um, I mean, you can see how fucking like the surface area of it's huge. Um, but it also has a curve. It's not like a V, like for when I sit in there, it's a curve. So I can sit like deep in there with my gut and my, hang my titties on it and, and whatnot. It's not a big cant. No, it's not a big cant. I thought about a big cant, but I, don't, I didn't want an L shape. I like the shape of my glass desk. It just wasn't big enough and it couldn't stand up to Zeke treatment. So I liked, I liked the idea of having like a station with all of my stuff at close hand. Like uh, most, like I've, most streamers like I've seen have like a table or a desk that they sit at and it's all flat. I want my shit closer to me. So it's like, a, you know, like a beat. Yeah. That's the way I like it. Um, It still seems rather small. It's, it's not. It's just a perspective. Big bravo to the Ikea reporting. I laughed so hard reading through that. Oh. I did this on CK stream. Might as well do it on mine. Uh, yay or nay, do you want to hear me do a reading of my Ikea misadventure? Okay. Also, uh, my alerts, I think my alerts need to be refreshed because they're not coming through. Uh, hold on.
One second. I just have to refresh the um, the website link that OBS pulls from. There we go. Okay, one more time. And there. Okay, that should be good. Let's see if it works. Um. <laughs> yeah, I guess it works. Okay. <laughs> I hate that you laugh so much. Uh, actually, before we get to the story, we had a couple of, uh, actually quite a few uh, subs, resubs, and that kind of uh, bits, tips, whatever. Uh, let's, so let's start at the beginning. 25 minutes ago, Mr. Peril, 13 months. I love the Ikea Adventure. Such a fun read. And the story on Katie's Instagram, you look so sad while eating. <laughs> yep. Sig, thank you for 25. Sergeant Z, thank you for the uh, the raid of uh, raid earlier today. Uh, Laser Guide, love, thank you for 15 months. Jive Goblin with 15 months. Uh, you've returned from raiding. Hell yes, welcome back. Rambler with five. Hyrax, thank you for six months. Captain Ragtag with 13. Anonymous has gifted a sub to Saito, who never buys her own sub. I don't know if you've ever bought your own stuff. Uh, 35 months. Uh, Graph Beats, thank you for 25. Captain Elsewhere with 38. 38 is my lucky number and my waist size. Hey. Ditto, I think. I think. I don't know. I haven't measured my waist in forever. Uh, Kiss Glue, thank you for the bits. The 310 bits. Uh, Loverly Cup of Tea, thank you for six months. Sam Roy with the 19. Technically, Cake with 26. Said I missed smashing, but I'm happy to hear uh, to see you reap what you sowed. Yes. Nylon, thank you for 15. And Evil Monkey, thank you for three months. Okay. Now, uh, I know that I, um, that I just refreshed my alerts, but I'm going to mute them for, uh, for my reading of my Ikea misadventure. <clears throat> Are you ready? Let me, there we go. <sighs> Oh, refresh the caption thingy. Thank you. Good idea. Check, check, check. Okay, good. Captions have been refreshed in case you need those. All right. My Ikea Misadventure by Ezekiel III. <clears throat> the journey begins. Zero minutes. First steps inside Ikea. I wisely decide to have a potty break, anticipating the long road ahead. So far, so good. Five minutes. Urination complete, we stroll into a room with every variety of couch. Katie stops to tell me about this globe-shaped hanging lamp that opens and closes. Oh, that opens and closes she's always wanted. Oddly. She does not write down its info, info or make plans to buy it. Ten minutes. I have written down the first item in my notebook. It is in aisle one, bin 33, named Kallax. I'm told this will make sense later. Thirteen minutes. Swedish names, I have decided, are jokes meant to fuck with Westerners and make them look like idiots. Twenty-six minutes. I found the hall of desks and tables. I pieced together my perfect streaming desk, complete with curved-in workstation and adjustable legs, all in classic black. 32 minutes. A strange blonde child stands by the floor model desk I've decided to rest at. He stares at me silently, then walks away, seemingly parentless. 46 minutes. Katie has informed me that she is hungry and has also decided that now, instead of before we began our trek, is a good time to tell me she has a painful blister on her pinky toe. This will not end well. One hour, four minutes. Smoke break time. Panic sets in as this maze is all center and no exit. I try to hide my fear from Katie. One hour, 13 minutes. Katie has jokingly asked me to carry her. My brain screams, abort, abort. One hour, 18 minutes. 
Sunshine, glorious sunshine. I never knew how much it meant to me. We have found an exit and commence a much-needed break. One hour, twenty-five minutes. The blonde child appears, again seemingly parentless. I wonder if Ikea is the boy's home, and he's lived here off meatballs and lingonberry jam, much like Newt from Aliens. One hour, forty-six minutes. We have made our way through the store in its entirety. I'm surprised it took so little time, honestly. We have our list of things and have now been told what the mysterious codes mean. Now, we fetch our stuff from the warehouse. One hour, fifty-seven minutes. The warehouse. Much like Katie, it's got a real ass on it. This is where the acreage the store takes up makes more sense. Two hours, two minutes. Swedes are goddamn liars. The stuff they told me was in stock in the showroom is decidedly not in the warehouse. I search, tired and increasingly pissed for my desk parts. They have one of the 15 pieces I need. Fuck this. Two hours, 16 minutes. My attempts to leave angrily are thwarted by CK's hunt for food. Food made by liars. Two hours, 29 minutes. I am now eating food. It is the only thing I ended up purchasing in the almost two and a half hours of meticulously writing down codes and ridiculous and probably fake product names. A lunch of one lame hot dog and a decent cinnamon roll. Two hours question mark minutes. Heading home. Wait. Nope, we're not. Three hours question mark minutes. We must stop at the spider store to get food for Katie's new tarantula obsession. Oh, and we get two more of the fucking things. She seems happy, but notices my utter disdain for this entire day, and she decides to curtail her shopping to spare the little sanity I have left. Four hours, maybe five. Fuck it. I'm going back to Ikea to fucking cobble together some sort of anything to put my fucking monitors on to fucking stream tomorrow. Fuck. Five hours, go fuck yourself minutes. Having left Katie home, I arrive back at the Swedish circle jerk and head straight to the warehouse to grab anything I can and get out the door before I burn the place to the ground. The desk colors are mismatched and it's missing parts I wanted, but I think I can make it work for a stream until I break down and buy a fucking overpriced uplift desk like many of my streamer friends previously suggested. Five hours, go fuck yourself, minutes, part two. <clears throat> the blonde child is in the aisle and smiles at me, then nods. I'm terrified his will be the last face I ever see. Six hours or whatever. I am home. Again. I have a desk that looks like a garage sale nightmare and Arby's. I collapse on the bed after hauling in my take and sadly devour two roast beef and cheddars wordlessly. I think Katie is talking. I hear something about her new spiders. My brain is a mixture of rage and exhaustion, but one thought stays. One solitary itch persists on the ass cheek of my soul. I don't know when it will happen, but some sweet day, I will have my revenge on the nation of Sweden for the offense against humanity that is Ikea. And there you are. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, all right. You want to build a desk? Want to build a desk, man? Or a snowman? I don't know. Is this working? There we go. Okay, it's working. Good. Did you know there was a guy who was arrested for putting arrows pointing the wrong direction on a Kia floor? I didn't know he was arrested for it. Well, that sounds like a hilarious idea. 
Uh, so if you were to write a book, what would it be about? Fic or non-fic? It'd probably be, be Vex Cheese. It'd probably be kind of like stand-up. Like, embellishments based on reality, based on stuff that actually happened. Okay. I don't want to build a desk. I want to see you try building a desk. Okay, I will. Saul Paul, thank you for the prime sub. Ravel Pidgey, thank you for 38 months. Rune Divide, thank you for 48. Usual Adam with three. Punky 100 with 68. Poppin' Delokin, thank you for the eight months. CJ with 62. Evil Monkey with three. I think we are, yeah, we're caught up. We're caught up now. We're good. All right. Can you start writing cheap sci-fi? I need it now. I need to be like, I need to be inspired. Like, the last time I did it was for Cats, and that turned out pretty well, because Cats is pretty inspiring. Not in a great way, but inspiring nonetheless. Okay. Uh, Mix 90, thank you for the five months. Nate's, Nate's Inc. with three. All right. You guys ready? Let's break it out. Let's do this. All right, I'm going to turn them down, alerts down just a scotch. All right. First things first, we've got the, this isn't a tabletop, these are the legs. I wanted adjustable legs. Oh, that's right. Uh, the adjustable legs that I wanted that were $15 a piece were not in stock, even though they said they were in stock. And there was other adjustable legs that I could have gotten, but those were $30 a piece. And for the desk I want to set up, that means I need 13 legs. That's too much money. So I opted for the middle part to be held up by a Bacant adjustable frame. This isn't the desk, this is just the frame. Or Beckant, I'm not even sure how to say it. Yes, 13 legs. Five for the center, four for each wing. 13. I might need less. We'll see. Oh, it's Bacant? Okay. So, let's open this up. Where is my... There it is. My trusty switchblade. Oh, cut away. Cut away from yourself. Always cut away. Oop. Always cut away from yourself. Let's tilt that down just a scotch more. There we go. Alright, always cut away from yourself. Nope. There we go. Alright, do we got that part? Okay. Oh, I guess I... I just do that. Good. Perfect. Okay. All right. So the legs are white. That's the only ones they had. The only thing that would work. White legs. Oh, there, there went. Okay, the box broke. That's okay. No biggie. The box is break. I, I'm, I cut it down anyway. So, all right. There's a part of it leg or stand support no no floor touching part whatever that whatever that means foot foot there you go the foot all right that's a leg i know that this is oh this is the uh, the cord the cord caddy that goes underneath the cord uh, hammock. The little cord hammock that you can store your cords in underneath your desk for cord management, which I'm supremely bad at. Okay. Another leg there. There. I'll move this. There we go. See all this shit. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, more stuff. Got another leg floor toucher. What was it? Floor toucher thing? Foot. Another foot. Got another foot. Okay. And parts. Bolts and bolts and such. And instruction manual. Excellent. Anything else? The box is now empty. There's nothing else in the box. Okay. 
Oh, please close the knife. Yeah, good idea. Close the knife. Good job. Nice touch. Nice touch. Uh, all right. Let's see. Oh, let's start with the, let's start with the manual then. This shouldn't be too hard. I'm gonna take out these headphones. They're just gonna get in the way and keep coming off. Let me know if you can't hear me, or something happens that I need to know about. Okay. So we got first page. That dude is think he's thinking about these things. He's thinking about a hammer. Uh, I'm guessing some sort of uh, ice pick and a boo old like an 80s style cell phone. I do not have an 80s style cell phone, but I have a hammer and an ice pick. Okay. Uh, oh, it's a level. It's, I see the, I missed the bubbles. I see the bubbles in it now. It's a level. Okay. Uh, that I don't have. So right off the bat, we are starting, starting pretty, starting out pretty bad. Okay. Anyway, now the second thing says this guy, he's looking at all this stuff going, oh man, where's my cell phone? But his friend comes over with a pencil and he says, don't worry. We could just write stuff down. And then he's, I don't know what happened here. Is he like, did he like let the thing fall? Like he looks like he let the fucking thing fall on the ground. He has his hands behind his back like, I'm not catching it. I'm gonna let it break, fuck it. Dude, fuck that guy. That guy's a piece of shit. That guy's a total piece of shit. Um, all right. Now this other picture says you can pat it on something. Oh, oh, he's Aladdin. Oh, I couldn't. It's, it's such a rudimentary drawing. I didn't know that it, this is Aladdin. Okay. So you get your magic carpet and you We're put it under. Doing this for money. Thing. He's busy. Okay. We're doing it for a shitload of money. Next. I don't know what this guy, why is he, he's like, I don't know what goes here. Oh, if you got, oh, okay. If you're clueless, call Ikea. Apparently you have to be right at the store with the landline to the store though. Do they have one in like the outside, like in the parking lot like that? That seems, they got to get with the times, man. At least have like a little like phone booth for you. All right, first things first. We got to make sure everything is here. That is not something I will be doing. Okay, next thing. Uh, well, oh, let me see here. Uh, hey, Bizarbinator, thank you for 16 months. Cripple Pony with 11. Lord Onasir, thank you for the 19. And Lost Frames, thank you for the 400 bits. Zobinator says, well, things ain't going too great. Horribly pressed, still unemployed. Now I've lost some other medical... Got some other medical problems I have to take care of. One small thing's going well. I've actually become really excited about writing a book. Yay. <laughs> hey, man, look for the fucking sunshine wherever you can. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So first things first. We take the leg and the floor. Fucking uh, foot. Foot. We take the leg and the foot, put them together, and then we take two of the bolts and put them in there. So here we go. Let me cut away from yourself. Like that. Perfect. Okay. And put your knife away. Never know when you're going to shank somebody. You don't want anyone to see it before they get shanked. That's the element of surprise. And you're going to need that. You know what? Maybe you maybe you won't ever need it, but you never know. You never know. All right. So, leg. Oh, I'm on I'm on step 3 already. Okay, there we go. Leg. The small at this end goes to the to the foot end like this. 
like that. Okay. And then you turn it over like this. And you find the spot. Find the sweet spot. Cut towards your buddy, not your body. That's a great that's a great way to put it. That is a great way to remember. A good mnemonic device. A good mnemonic device is important sometimes if you need to remember uh, safety information. Okay, so that's easy. Easy peasy. No problem. So you just give them a little hand tighten. A little feel tighten so they stay on. And then you take your drill, which I have charged up. Battery has been charged. My battery, not my charge. Now you want your drill, when you fire it up, to make a burning smell. That way you know it's working. All right. Now, I have my uh, little bits here. So I don't have to use fucking Allen wrenches. Allen wrenches are the devil's fucking sex toy. Allen wrenches are the most terrible fucking invention to ever be invented. Fuck Allen wrenches forever. So I have Allen wrench bits. Or hex screws. Allen wrenches or hex screws. I'm not sure. I think it depends on uh, what nation you're in, what you call them. But the hex, the hex head screw, these, these fuckers, these fuckers, I hate them. Fuck them. They're terrible. They hurt your hands and they don't get a good, they don't get good torque. Um, it turns out I might not have the right bit for this, but we'll see. Doesn't look, it's not looking like I do. So I'm going to have to bite the bullet and use the fucking Allen wrench that I threw over there. Oh, they, oh, did they give you one? They probably give you one. Oh, they give you one. Okay. They give you one. So I have one that's too big, and then the next size down is too fucking small. I don't understand. It's Oh, they do that on purpose, don't they? They do that on purpose. They do that on purpose. They have to. They do that on fucking purpose. Hold on. Let me... There we go. Just had to open a window to make chat a little bigger. There we go. Okay. Um. What, oh, <laughs> it's in the it's in the thing. It's in it's in the floor toucher thing. All right. All righty. There we go. Screwing it down. Screwing it in. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, my my um my just for her toolkit, I'm guessing since it's pink and sexist, that it's an American product. And if it's an American product, that means they only do freedom units. So no base 10 for us. It's gonna be halves and quarters and cubits and, and gallons and all that. It's gonna be great. All right. Zeke won't read it. Now I won't ever find love. Won't read what? Oh, I forgot. I don't have my on-air messages on. I forgot. Sorry. They're just not in an, a good location with the monitors on the floor. All right. I got them now. You want to, Zeke, you want to take a boy's trip? I hear we can fuck monkeys in Borneo. Man, that is not something I need to fucking read immediately, Scott. That, I set that shit up so it's it's stuff that I need to know. Important messages from chat. Like, your green screen's fucked up or something. You know? Like, I don't need to know about fucking monkeys in Borneo. Until our vacation that we plan. Okay? Time and a place, Scott. Time and a place. Alright. Floor toucher number two. Got to find the, the hole. That it, oh. Oh, 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 found it. Didn't even have to rotate it. Slipped it right in there. Oh, shit. Things are looking up. Things are looking up. 
All right. Now time to once again get the bane of my existence. I don't know why this doesn't fit. This should fit. This should fit. Hate you freedom units. All right. There we go. See how, see how much fun this is? See how much fun it is to use a, a hex wrench? So much fun. And when it gets tight and you want to keep going with it, oh, it, it doesn't have like nice sharp edges to hurt my fingers at all. It doesn't. At least this one has a nice long leverage handle on it. <sighs> Thanks for putting on points for the install stream. You bet, Exit at Midnight. No one cares about your ugly message, ugly sailor. I can highlight my messages too. <laughs> All right, there we go. Next floor toucher, foot, foot, it's foot, foot, two feet, done, two feet done. All right, let's see what the happy, uh, let's see what Aladdin has to say now. So Aladdin says that after you do that, you have to point at the table. I'm pointing at it, point at the feet and legs, point. I'm pointing at it. And then you, oh, oh, these are the adjusties. These are the adjust, oh my God, they make you have to keep this fucking thing. Oh, wait a minute. They gave me two. They gave me two of them. Two of them. Well, uh, see, that doesn't hurt. That doesn't hurt at all. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's nice to push that fucking hard metal bar against my soft pink flesh. Thanks, Ikea. I don't even know where I want it. Oh, that, I, oh, 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 that's where we, that's why we have the, you know what? We'll just leave them down for the time being. We'll leave them all the way down for the time being. And then we'll raise them equally using our measuring tape. Beautiful. Okay. So next step is to put, oh, put the legs on the table. Or on the on the brace. Now is it which side is it? Which side which side up? Is it Does it matter? Looks like they're the same. On both sides. The divots are the same. The holes are the same. I think they're the same. They tell you if it matters. They would tell you. The holes there's yeah, there's holes on both sides of everywhere, same places, so it's fine. Okay, so there's no top or bottom. It's, it goes it goes both ways. We got a switch, a switch table. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's move that shit. Now that's that doesn't look right. Is that right? Oh, it's got two little nubbins. Ah, two little nubbins go in there. That's not sturdy at all. That's just, I mean, I can just come right out. The nubbins are not enough to keep it in the, in the table there. Um, that's too much. Let's tilt it back up a bit. A bit. Um, hmm. See the two, like, nubbins on there? Little nubby ends, little nubbles. That does not make a sturdy, that does not a sturdy table make. Something I'm missing. All right. Ah! There's bolts. Okay. They are the 111035 bolts, which are five 
These big bastards? Do they say one one or whatever on them? No, but they're the only th okay, they're the only things that Okay. No worries. Okay, so Oh, you're gonna wanna do it from this way. Okay. Okay. You're gonna wanna do it like this and this. And then put the thing on there like that. There we go. Oh man, there's gotta be an easier way to do this. Is it, is it screwing? It's not screwing. It's not screwing properly. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got it sort of in there. All right, now we gotta get. Oh shit, no, it didn't. It didn't go. It didn't go. Oh, I can just lay it on the ground. That's probably better. Lay it on the ground. Okay. Just lean it against my head there. I can't. I tried to push my head through. It won't work. Okay, there. Nubbin. Stay. We need the nubbin. There we go. Nubbin, stay. Ah! Don't fall over. Nubbin, stay. Stay, nubbin. There. Okay. Oh. 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 Feels like. Oh, feels like I misthreaded it. Feels like it's misthreaded. Hold on. Hold on, I got it. Oh, there. There we go. Now we got it. All right, now. Now we just flip it over. And get the other one. Oh, no, this is gonna, that's gonna snap the bolt right off, isn't it? Okay. Um, let's see. There. There, just like that. And then we'll tighten this guy down. Like so. There, no problem. No problem. There. Tight. That's tight. That's hurting my thumb. It's tight. That's how you know it's tight when it hurts your thumb. Because hex screws are the devil. Okay, so same thing. All right. Oh, this this way was much easier. I should have just. Oh no no. I would have had to hold it. The the foot is holding it now. This way, I can just totally get it. This this way is easy peasy, just like that. And then grab our thingy here. And there we go. Turn it. Turn it. Ow. Turn it. Turn it. And there we go. And now we can set it up like that. Oh. That would have been easier. If I would have set it up like that and then screwed the things in. Seems a little low. Oh, it's it's probably gonna be a little low. It's it, they adjust. It's on the lowest setting, so don't worry about that. They'll it'll it'll go up and down. Um, this is just to hold the centerpiece. Okay, what else? Oh, they even show you. I was holding it like this though. See. I was doing everything backwards. I did this part right side up, and then I did this part upside down, because that's what the picture showed. But no, they show you, if you look at it right side up, they show you. Uh. Okay, next. Ooh, hammer time. Oh no, I don't have to hammer anything. I don't have to hammer anything because I'm not I'm not hooking it into a bacant. Uh, desktop. Yeah, I'm 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 making 
These are the Bacant legs, but I'm putting it on a Lin Linman, a Linman curved corner desktop. So. I took the legs from one set and put them on a, on a different set. Okay, so we're done now because we don't have the tabletop. Okay, so we've got our adjustable legs. That's good. Uh, we should put all the pieces back. We're probably going to need these eventually, I'd imagine. So put all them back into the bag. Most of them back in the bag. There we go. Get 90% of them in there. Well, that's probably good enough. They give you extra pieces, right? Oh, don't don't put the bits in there. Those aren't your bits. These are Katie's bits, so we gotta put those bits back where we found them. Right in the bit box. That's an awfully long alert. Um be good, Johnny. Thank you for 26 months. Totius with 24. Chrissy JY 43. Thir 30 none. Thank you for 13. Dark Druid SS with four months. Sass Bags with 21. Ouchbox with 48. Warp 9 with 13. Thank you guys so much, you guys. Thank you guys so much, you guys. Hardware store. I love it. All right. Oh, you know what? I want the cool That's what I want. That's why I put a fridge in here. All right. Ah. All right. And I'm not sponsored by them, so you don't get to see who it is. Pardon me. All right. What's next? Next is, oh, no, I don't need the hammer. We've, we've discovered that. So put this aside for now. Ugh. Well, there we go. Let's put it up like that. Get it out of the way. There. Out of the way-ish. All right. See, no butt crack. Look at that. Tucked in, belt, no butt crack. Look at that. No butt crack. Thinking today. Got my thinking pants on. All right. Okay. So this is the table. Lindman corner table thingy. All right, where'd my knife go? Uh, there it is. Okay, knife. Got it. Cut towards your <laughs> your buddy, not your body. All right. So let's take that, cut her down like so. Open it up. Go ahead and put that away. <clears throat> then pull it out. Pull it. Pull it out. Or you know, we'll just we'll just open it the rest of the way. Without a knife, because don't need a knife. God, that tape is that's good tape. That's really good tape. Okay. There we go. That is the main section of my desk. Right there. It's nice and thick. A thick wood. Probably not solid. In fact, I'm sure it's not because it's it's like really fucking light. But hopefully. I mean, I'm I'm really jamming on it. Okay, so that is how my desk is going to be, like this. It's going to be like this for me. Monitors over here, fat gut, fat gut sitting on it like this, resting, so it doesn't hurt my back anymore. That's gonna be like real nice. And then, if I really wanna relax, put the titties on it. Put my fat man titties on there. Just right there, just like that. All right, 
Wish my desk had a gut out. Oh my god, is that what it's called? Is this a gut out? <laughs> I never knew that, but I love it. It's not actually for my gut, because I, I mean, sure, I'm fat, but I'm not like fat enough that I need something, you know, to like this big. It's so I can put my arms on here and rest them when I'm doing keyboard and mouse. It's more like um, for my posture and for my, my wrists, because my, my wrists are starting to get like, uh, well, I don't, I don't have a carpal tunnel, but I don't want it either. So, yeah, but like, if, if this is any indication of like how big it is, I mean, it's pretty deep. It's got, it's, it's pretty deep. It's pretty deep. Now, here's the real question. So, uh, let's put it like we're going to sit in it, like this. I'll move the camera down. Okay. Move the camera down. There we go. Okay. So I put it like we're going to sit in it. And then, see the legs that we just made? Look at this. Look at that perfect fit. That is a perfect fucking fit. However, a lot of the weight is going to be up here. So, what if I did it like this? No, that's... that's too much. Hmm. Let's see. If I did it... Yeah, what if I just connected, like in a triangle, like this one, this one, and this one, so it has most of the weight centered over that. I think that'd be good. You could probably do, right? I suggest you put that on one side, head back to Ikea, and get some legs for the other end. Do I need a third leg, though? I mean, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, if I did it like this, and it have it have four four supports middle and end here we have four here those two would be missing the ones at the end there would be totally missing but that's just for stability oh but then my legs would i'd have to put my legs like this like there that's that's no good that's no good that's no good we can't have that Okay. So, probably, probably not a good plan, great plan to have that without, without any support underneath it, that, that way out there. Because that's where the triangle of my monitor tree is going to sit. What if I just like hung weights from the, from the front here? Just like got some like cinder blocks or something, like tied a wire and like hung them. So it's like a counterweight. Is that a bad plan? What I need to do what now? Hold on, what do you say, Scott? I need to take a shot and spread your butt because you're fucked. Oh, 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 that was worth coming back for. I had a bad day at work watching you put together this desk like a jigsaw puzzle, oddly relaxing. Thank you. You're welcome, fish man. My pleasure. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's do, let's do a test. Let's do a test with the legs. Okay. Legs up like this. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. And then put the table on it like this. There we go. And then see, there's a lot of support here, but any weight right there, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's just gonna. <laughs> gonna tip over so hmm let's see oh I know I got it oh no no you gotta see you gotta be able to see that Easy peasy. Just put that right underneath there. Perfect. Solved. You just gotta keep weight on it, because if you don't, it's just gonna, it's just, it'll just fall over. So we got it. I mean, the weight of the monitors will hold it down. It'll be great. However, you're not gonna be able to see it, and I need to use this. So do I have anything else? Oh, ho, ho. I do. Look at this. <laughs> Perfect. It perfectly fits. I don't even need to hold it. Look at that. Just a, just a curtain rod. Or a, a clothes hang rod or whatever. What are those called? Clothes rod? <laughs> All right. And this one, I think it screws out too. So this is fully adjustable as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, fully adjustable. Look at that. I'm gonna pull that thing out, just like that. And then uh, you just turn it to make it, to make it stay? No, you don't? You don't turn it to make it stay? How does it? Oh, there's no screw. Oh, it's not like a shower rod. Okay, okay. And also these are not the proper feet for this thing. Yep. Unfortunately, that will not work because the desk is going to be higher. Like I'm going to raise the legs of it. So I need something like one adjustable leg to put right there. And I think, I think it will be good. We just get one adjustable leg. I got, I mean, I don't want to go back to Ikea, but it's not looking like I have much of a choice. All right, tell you what. Let's screw these legs on to this table for now. So we can finish this part. We'll get a leg for it sometime, at some point. And yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, so oh, I'm gonna do it smart this time. I'm gonna put this flipped over on the floor so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. But I, that's why I brought my measuring tape. That's why I brought my measuring tape. It's smart. I'm smart. All right, no butt crack. Look at that, all butt, no crack. Look at that, glorious, glorious. All right, so we want this to be centered on here. Um, what we need to do is take, hold on, let me, Angle is down again. See what I'm doing. We need to Oh, I don't think we even need to measure it. I don't think we even need to measure it. I think what we do is we draw a line from that corner to here, 
and then draw a line across, and then we have a nice. No, that's not good. That's not gonna work. Um. Mm, let's see. Let's at least we we can find out what the center of the table is. At least. So, do this right there. Let me go sort of like that. And that is, <laughs> stay there, 66 and a half, 66 and a half. All right, so 33 and a quarter. See, I can do math. 33 and a quarter will be the center of the table. Right there. There we go. There. And aha! <laughs> Dry erase marker. <laughs> Thinking. Thirty-three and a quarter. Right there. That is the dead center of the table. Right there, okay. So that's the dead center of the table, as far as this way goes. Oh, it's not the dead center of the whole thing. Just of, just of that part. So if we do this, this out to the corner should be 33 and a quarter. It would be if this if it had a quarter. Yes, it would be. Okay. So that's fine. That's good. Okay. Now. Hmm. Let's see here. What if I if I go from this corner? I can draw a line. Oh, oh what would that be? I drew a line like that. Oh, if I put the there, yeah, there we go. You put the center of the dot in the center of the see the 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 legs have center holes. So as long as these line up, you got the center right there. Now we know, we know that it's not going to be exactly center because there's the cutout here and this needs a leg. We know that. But we're gonna get a leg for this and it's gonna be great. But I'm wondering if I should just move this guy so it's like flush with the edge here. Okay, so it's flush with that edge that needs to, no, I think that's, that probably needs to tilt this way a little bit. Because if these are, these need to line up, the whole, the middle part, the middle thing, yeah, there we go. Yeah, the whole holes in the middle, the middle dot, where I found the middle of the table, they all have to be in a straight line. And they pretty much are. I mean, they're they're right there, right there. Like, I mean, I don't know. I don't think you could. Well, I mean, right there, like that. Okay, that's that's good. Oh, I know how. Oh, I know what I need to do. Let me measure and see if this corner. Ha <laughs> ha! I got it. Okay. See, if this corner is equidistant from the other corner, that's the wrong side of the tape. Okay, this corner, oh, the stupid guard came off. All right, this corner, well, that's not gonna give me a proper reading now. Okay, there we go. That is 12 and three quarters. 
12 and three quarters. Why am I doing this? Why don't I use centimeters? It's so much easier. All right, there we go. So it is 32 and a half centimeters from the corner. Now let's see if it's the same on the other side. Here, yeah, get my butt. All right, and this one is ooh, 31 and a half. I'm off by like a full fucking centimeter. What? How's that even possible? What? Well, that means that only means that if it's it just needs to be 32 centimeters then. 32 centimeters from the edge, and they'll both be the same, same amount from the edge. So, measure out 32, which is right there. And measure out 32. Which is right there. There. Now we just put it up against the lines. Beautiful. That's one line. Two lines. Okay. Nope. Hold on. There we go. Get it down right there. Okay. Then push this guy right there. Nope. Can't see the other line. Hold on. There's that line right there. And then. Can't see the other line. I gotta push it. Hey, I can sort of see it now. I can sort of see both lines now. That's perfect, right there. It's beautiful. I can see both lines. Here, let me just write that down and see if those lines are equidistant from the corners, and they will be. They will, watch this. This is. Mm, 30, 31. Oh, wait, no, I gotta pull up just a little bit. It's not quite at the end there. There we go. It's just shy of 32. Like seriously, just shy. And this, this one, there we go. Also, just shy of 32. Boom! Take that, imperial, imperial system. Ugh. That right there. Gotta get this one lined up so it's not on the. There. This. Just the scoat. There. Okay. Okay. Good, good. All right. Now, take the pen, poke it through. Mark the holes where you want them. Just like that. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. All marked up. Okay. Ah, shit. Watch the walls.
Okay, so how do we drill holes for screws? Okay, we got these things. Um, let's see. Because they're plastic, so they're not drill. You can't drill them. So you need to. Hmm. I think you need to drill. Oh, oh, I see. They're the little peggies. And then you put these in there and they spread them out inside of the thing. So. We need to know exactly how big the holes need to be. Let's see. How do we know the size of the drill hole we need? Um, does it say in the instruction manual? Because the table that this, these legs are supposed to go to come with pre-drilled holes. This one does not. Well, it, no, it has pre-drilled holes, but they're for different legs. I didn't want, I, they didn't have those legs in stock. They had the tabletop, but not the legs. And not a fucking bitch. Oh, hey. Did you know that that is for this? I just, I just saw a picture. I just saw a picture. It's for, it's a guard so you can use the Allen wrench. Huh. I never seen that before. That's crazy. Well, uh, one, one point in the positive for Swedes, a million in the negative. So they're catching back up, I think. Okay, let's see. Um, Oh, it, oh, it's just cardboard? The screws won't grab on anything? Well, that's... The, no, that's why they're this. It's why they're plastic. And they spread apart. That's why they do that. Like this. Actually, these ones. These ones, these smaller ones. See, they're, they're serrated, so when you put a little plug in them, this little pluggy thing, it spreads them apart inside of the cardboardish, like, particle board hole. Just use wood screws from the hardware store? You know what I say to that? Oh, I don't know if you could hear that. I farted. It wasn't very loud, though. Um, oh! They gave us... They gave us some screws. I don't, they're not for that, but they only gave us four of them. That's probably not going to be enough. I don't think that's gonna be enough. I, oh, this is. Oh, these are probably for the the net, the net underneath. I'd imagine they're not. They're not very big either. Um. Hmm. Well, what do they put in the instruction manual? How do they connect those? Is it just with plastic? That's crazy. That sounds, that seems crazy to me. That they would just connect those with plastic. They do. They just connect it with plastic screws. They go straight through here. To the other side. You know, to the other side. You know, if you want to. There you go. To the other side. And then you pound a little peg through it, and it spreads out the, the screw feet. And it's supposed to hold that shit in? Oh, fuck! Well, I can do that. I just need to drill some, I just need to drill some shallow screw holes. Because this is not much different than, than the other tables, like what the other table's made out of. I'm sure. They're both probably really light and cheap materials. So all I really need to do is find out 
the circumference and the depth, or, well, the diameter, I guess, and the depth, well, I can just use this. I can just go this deep. Use the tip, tip that, go that deep. Um, but I need drill bits, and I'm not sure if I have them. Hold on. Hold on. Well, I don't know if you heard that, um, but uh, no, I was, <laughs> Zeke is a bad man, yes, PETA alert, right, exactly. No, I was opening the closet door, and he, his foot got caught under the slide, but I opened it up, and, and it just went, <laughs> it scared him more than anything else, but sure. Nardap, are you suggesting that I abuse my fucking animals? Because if so, I will ban you on the fucking spot. Like that. I will fucking get you out of here and never come back. So, don't accuse me of that shit. That shit ain't funny. And it's even less funny now that I have them, oddly enough. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Ah, fuck. I don't have a drill bit. I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't have a drill bit. If I do, I thought I had them. I can't just pound holes, right? I actually have to have, like, a drill bit, right? Hmm. If I had a big enough screw, I could screw a hole, but I don't have a big enough screw hole. Hmm. I know I have drill bits somewhere. I know I have them somewhere. I just I'm not sure where. Hmm. I looked in the closet. That's what you heard. You heard me like opening the closet door and a foot getting a dog foot getting stuck underneath there. Um. Hmm. I 
thought they were in, like, above the washing machine, but they're not there. Hmm. I mean, I could screw them in, but the holes are too big. The holes to screw them in are too big. Oh, wait, what if I did the, oh, only one side of the bracket has holes. I need both of them. And in order to make another hole, I need a drill bit. Fuck! That's what, but that's what you get, you know? That's what you get when you, um, uh, try and piece together two things that not, they, maybe they don't necessarily belong together, but they can go together. Hmm. I was just really psyched about having an adjustable desk. Um, you have drill bits, Scott, you said? You have drill bits? Yeah, why don't you bring them over, Scott? Why don't you bring them over and help me with this? I'm drill bit Taylor. He is drill bit Taylor. Are you gonna are you gonna come over and bring me some? Oh, if you have an extra table leg, bring me that too. If you have an extra table leg, can you bring that over as well? That would be nice. That would be very nice of you, because then I could actually put my put my desk on it. Or put my monitors on it. You have a third leg. Stop fucking around and bring me those belt! You know what? Don't, never mind. You know what? Don't bring me the drill bits. I don't want you to come over. I don't want you to come over. In fact, we're going to take a short break. I'm going to go look for my drill bits. And if I can't find them, I, I guess we might just have to like have an early end or something. So I'm going to put out some music. Make sure it's not too loud or whatever. There, there we go. Okay, I'll be right back. Don't go away. Stick around. I'll tell you if I'm done or not. I'm going to go look for some shit. 